Hello and welcome to this wave.video tutorial. My name is Anita Wong and in this training I'm going to show you how you can choose a pre-made template from the wave.video social calendar, mix it up to make it your own and publish it directly onto your own Facebook business page. So the first thing you want to do is to choose your pre-made template. When you choose that, you click on the pre-made template and the editor will open up. It will also give you some information and some inspiration on what you can do with your template. So as you see, I chose Transformation Tuesday. It gives you a little bit of ideas about what sort of content you can mix it up and make it your own with and some of the trending hashtags for that particular template. Now, as I'm going to be publishing it to Facebook, I want to either choose the square template or the horizontal template. So we're gonna go ahead and just choose the horizontal template. We're gonna click edit template and the editor will instantly open up into the main editor for you. So once inside the editor, as you can see, the video has been created for you. And along the bottom here, each segment or slide has the pre-prepared content and also the pre-prepared text. Now this is where you can mix up the text to make it your own and also personalize your videos with your own graphics and stickers and also your own watermark if need be. So we're going to come into the editor here and we are going to look at how you change up the content. So if you wanted to mix up the content, what you would do is you would click replace. You could then choose a video from the sports and fitness if that's what you're doing for your transformation Tuesday, or you could choose an image from any of the selection available. Once you're happy, you just click replace and the editor will automatically replace your image here with the new image that you've just chosen. If you would like to change up the text, then you highlight the text by clicking in the text area. And then if you want to change the font, you just go over here and you can change up the font to a different font, or you can change it back to the ones inside the template. You can also do this for any of the sections within the video as it comes. And then at the very end, you can personalize the video to make it your own. So in this section here, you could go ahead and add your watermark, like so. And we're gonna pop that over here in the corner. But you can place it anywhere you wish within the editor. You can also mix up your video by adding music. So at the bottom here, we have already a music which has been pre-selected by the template, which says, let's start it up. If you wanted to listen to that, you click the play button. And it will let you play the music that's already been pre-selected. If you don't like the music that's been pre-selected, you can just click add music and you can mix it up and change it around for one that you prefer. So for instance, if we went for this one, we could press play. You can listen to what the music sounds like and then you can just click add to the music. Once you're happy with your video, you go ahead and click publish. Now this is where we are going to publish it directly to your Facebook account and not download it to your own computer. So to do this, you click Facebook, and the editor will open up for you. If any of the assets inside the, the video or the images that you've used needed to be paid for, then you'll see that in this area here where it says my cart. As it is, this one is all using the free assets. So then you pop your title in here. And then you pop in your description. Now this part of the title and the description will automatically transfer over onto your Facebook business page when you, when you connect it. So we're gonna connect our Facebook business page by clicking on the connect Facebook account. Now, as you can see on the pop-up, it's asking to continue as yourself. So you continue as yourself. If you manage multiple pages, then you'd need to select the page that you want your 
actual video to appear on. So we're going to pop it onto the, the, the wave.video page. So then you click next and it's asking you to manage your pages. So basically it's just asking you to give approval for the wave.video editor to access your page to publish on your behalf. So once you're happy with that, you click done. It's now linked your wave.video account with your own Facebook business page. So you click OK. Now all that's left to do is to click the publish button. What the editor will now do is it will render your video ready for Facebook. So it's compressing your video down to the right size and it's getting it all completely ready for you. So we're going to wait for that to happen. And once it's happened, you'll be given a Facebook URL where you can click on to visit and see where your video has been published. As you can see, the wave.video editor has finished rendering the video and has automatically published it to your Facebook business page. So we're going to copy the link and we're going to pop that into our browser so that you can view the video itself inside of Facebook. So here it is on the Facebook platform and to double check that it's on your page, you click your page header. And there's your video on your Facebook business page with the description that you added in whilst inside the editor, ready for your followers to view. If you have any questions about this video, please don't hesitate to pop them in the comments below.